Memories of a River by Ella Willa Wilcox. In nature's bright blossoms, not always reposes its strange subtle essence more rare than the bloom, which lies in the hearts of carnations and roses, but then explains something the man called perfume, for modest the flower, yet great is its power, and pregnant with meaning each pistil and leaf. If only it hides fear, the only bites fear, the fragrance suggestive of love, joy, and grief. Not always the air where the master composers can stir human heartstrings with pleasure or pain, but strange subtle chords, like the scent of the roses, breathe out of some measures with simple strain. Lo, when you hear them, you laugh them and fear them, you tremble with anguish, you thrill with delight, for back on them slumber or dreams without number, and faces long vanished to peer out into sight. Those dear foolish days when the earth seemed all beauty, before you had knowledge enough to be said. When you felt no higher ideal of duty than just to lilt on through the world and be glad. On harmonies or river, they seemed to flaunt higher, of all the sweet fancies that hung around the time. Life's burdens and troubles turn into air bubbles and break on the music's swift current of rhyme. Fair folly comes back with the spell while you listen and points to the past where she led you of old. You gaze on past sunsets, you see dead stars glisten, you bath on life's glory, you swoon in death's cold. All pains and all pleasures surge up through those measures, your heart is wrenched open with earthquakes of sound. From ashes and embers rise Junes and Decembers, lost islands and fathoms of feeling refound. Some airs are like outlets of memory's oceans, arise in the past and flow into the heart, and down them float shipwrecks of mighty emotions. All sea soaked and storm tossed and drifting apart. The fair timbers battered, the lordly sails tattered, the skeleton crew of dead days on their decks, and a crash of chords blending, a crisis and ending. The music is over and vanished with wrecks.